chairman. Uh, excuse going? me, Where's Hunter. Apparently, you're afraid of my going? words. Whoa. Uh, here goes. <laughs> oh. I like to reclaim my time, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> wow, that's too bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's clear and obvious for everyone watching this hearing today that Hunter Biden is terrified of strong conservative Republican women because he can't even face my words as I was about to speak to him. What a coward. And this is also a coward that sat right here in front of Mickey Babbitt, Ashley Babbitt's mother, who was murdered on January 6th by Michael Byrd, the Capitol Police officer. And the, you want to talk about a committee, a political sham? I'll totally, totally disagree with you, uh, uh, Ms. Mace. That January 6th committee was not bipartisan. It was a complete setup to go after President Trump go after Republicans, go after anyone that believes in free and fair elections, people that believe the Department of Justice should be fair and balanced, not a political weaponized department of, of the federal government that is targeting President Trump, his supporters, people that walked in the Capitol on January 6th, and now people that stood outside the Capitol. There's been no justice for Ashley Babbitt's family. Michael Byrd has never been charged with anything. He was let off and he was given an, a, a promotion and, and allowed to walk free. And Hunter Biden just walked out. That is an example of not following the law. Hunter Biden thinks he's above the law. Don Jr., Eric Trump, Ivanka, Trump family members had to come in to Democrat subpoenas and be questioned by Democrats for over eight hours, each of them. Hunter Biden runs away. Hunter Biden did not come when we subpoenaed him. He did not follow the law. And then one of our colleagues helped him evade his subpoena by going and, and reserving a press conference for him on his behalf, helped him evade the subpoena, helped Hunter Biden break the law. Let's talk about his own father's words. President Joe Biden said in October 2021 that individuals who defy subpoenas from the January 6th House Select Committee should be prosecuted. And the Justice Department in, indicted Steve Bannon for doing so in November 2021. Hunter Biden's father, the President of the United States, said that he should be prosecuted. Anyone that defies a subpoena should be prosecuted. Hunter Biden didn't show up for his subpoena. Hunter Biden showed up today to make a clown show of himself to show that he is nothing but someone that will not obey the law, that wants to show up when he wants to, and sits here with a smug look on, look on his face and runs away when it's my turn to talk. Not only is he a criminal, but he is a coward. Nothing but a coward. Let's talk about voting for things. We have members on this committee that are on record on their own Twitter accounts talking about, talking about people blowing off subpoenas on the January 6th committee that states the rule of law is stirring all over America. That's Representative Jamie Raskin right here. I'll enter this for the record. Representative Jamie Raskin, Steve Bannon has been convicted of acting in contempt of Congress. My argument with Rep Gates is now settled. If subpoenaed, you show up and assert any privilege you think applies to spe specific questions, but you can't blow off the proceeding. He blew it off. Walking in today is too late. We have to hold Hunter Biden in contempt of Congress because he's not above the law and neither is the President of the United States. And this committee has produced more evidence, more evidence than any Democrat ever dreamed of having against President Trump and his family. While they constantly make up lies and attacks about the Trump family and President Trump, uh, they make them up all day long. It's nothing but a political witch hunt. This committee has produced the evidence that Joe Biden has taken payments through his son, Hunter Biden, and all their dozens of fake LLCs. You can't buy a Biden product. You can't hire a Biden for a service unless you're a foreign country and you're asking and paying for political favors and political payouts. And that is exactly what the Biden brand is all about. We will hold Hunter Biden in contempt 
And if the Democrats are not the hypocrites that they constantly display that they are, then they will vote for contempt of Congress because they voted for it on every other subpoena that, that went, didn't go through. And here's the last thing. You guys had your chance. If you wanted to hold people in contempt of Congress, you could have done it last Congress, but you didn't do it, and it would have been a major mistake because you know that it could have been turned exactly back on you. Mr. Chairman, I yield. It's, um, it's really uh, interesting to hear the gentle lady from Georgia uh, speak about Hunter Biden leaving, and she is the person that showed nude photos of Hunter Biden in this very committee room, showing, showing dick pics in this committee room uh, of, of Hunter Biden. I have my five minutes, uh, gentle lady. And so I think it's really, I think it's really ironic, hypocritical, uh, quite shameful that uh, the, uh, the person who's complaining about somebody leaving when she's showing nude photos of him uh, to this committee, uh, it, it, showing nude photos of him to this committee in this, in this very room.